let's take a look at the Sydney Roosters kit for 2023. So the home jersey is the same jersey that we've come to expect out of the Roosters. It's the uh, the red top with the white chevron in it and the uh, navy blue body. Uh, they've got some great sponsors on this one. Yeah, the the Roosters have done really well with um, that much we've talked about previously with South and St George. Um, you're not going to change this home strip too much and. Like uh, St. George as well, they've got a great sponsor board with Steggles. Um, I believe they've even got, like, say, Red Rooster on the shorts as well. Or they do. Like. They've done really – the marketing team's done a top job here. Um, yeah, the, you're not going to change this home strip too much. Again, it's, it's very iconic. Um, Castor, I believe um, – this again, this is their second cycle with them. Uh, I believe it was, like, a five-year deal or so, so you'll see them for a few years more yet. Um Early on, I believe they actually had the angle of the V wrong, and that got tweaked later. Very minor detail, but I know some of the diehards noticed that. That didn't just quite look right, and yeah. Mm. Yeah, as we touched on with the Melbourne Storm review, uh, they've done a bit, a lot better job this year with the retail product. So it's less rash vest-like. It's a, it's a thicker fabric. It's got a better cut to it, and it fits a lot better. Uh, the collars on it sticks up a little more, whereas previously it was a lot more T-shirt-like. Uh, yeah, it, this is a good quality jersey that Cast has put out this time, and I think the fans will enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. Um, rating wise, it'd be based purely on what it's representing. Just that, you know, it's a foundation club. You're not going to muck with it too much. Yeah, um, like seven and a half. Yeah, eight for me. Yeah, but look, moving on to the away jersey, where I am excited. Yeah, me too. So this is a throwback to say the late oh, uh, ninety six, I think. I want to say um, there you go. when. Because I think you'll actually find that they've referred to it as it's the city jersey. Not, they haven't called it the away officially, but um, referring, of course, to when they were known as the Sydney City Roosters. Um, yeah, uh, big Andrew Walker vibes here for me. Uh, <laughs> it's great. You know, the white jersey, the red and the red and uh, blue uh, chevrons on it. Um, they had this as a recent retro release, I want to say, and maybe the popularity of that maybe might have. You know, brought this to yeah. their attention that it was That's right, to look yeah. at for an away. Tidwell brought out a, a retro version late last year and it went crazy amongst the Roosters fans. The old Sydney City logo on it and yeah. with that, you know, the character chook. Uh, yeah, this is a good looking jersey made better by the uh, yeah, the vibrance of those those wide bars. So they're probably a little bit wider than the um mm. than they were back in the nineties. Uh but not too wide, if you know what I mean. And they've got the blue cuffs on it. Uh, to me, it works really well. And it, you know, I love a an away jersey that's also a, a throwback to history. Yeah, well, you know me, Heritage, I'm all over it. So now, much like the Canberra away, uh, Canberra away effort this year, I'm, I'm yeah, a big fan of it. I'll, I'll give it a nine. Yeah, eight and a half to a nine for me as well. Right, guys, so that's what we think. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And remember, subscribe so you can see more of this content, like and share it so we can get it wider.